Pudong New Area. This is Shanghai Astronomy Museum, and this is also world's largest planetarium in terms of the floor area. This place is going to be open to the public in a couple of days. Today we get a precious chance to get into the facility and have a quick look. And this is also the very first day for the medium guys to get inside. So today the guest who will join our program is Dr. Lin. Dr. Lin is the director of the Astronomy Research Center from the Shanghai Science and Technology Center. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, first, could you please introduce yourself? Myself. Uh, my name is Lin Qing. Uh, I'm the director of uh, uh, the Astronomical Research Center of Shanghai Science and Technology Museum. Yes, the t today is the very first day for the medium guys to get inside. So let's have a look at this. So first, could you please introduce for us for the museum? Uh, uh, Sh Shanghai Astronomy Museum uh, uh, is the biggest museum, uh, biggest planetarium in in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, its total uh, growth floor area is. Uh, as large as uh, 38,000 uh, square meters. Mm -hmm. And then there are one main building and uh, three other buildings. And, and <laughs> uh, for the, the, the three other buildings, we have two observatories. Uh, one have a one meter uh, diameter telescope and the other is a uh, solar tower. It has a, 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 a very big solar telescope, uh, and the third one is uh, we have uh, some classroom and uh, laboratories for the children, uh, for the students. Mm -hmm. And now we are in this uh, main building. Uh, we have uh, one um, main exhibition area, and uh, others other functions, uh, small exhibition areas so we we will want have to go to the this main exhibition area 
Yes, and if we can take a picture from aerial, we can see uh, the building. The building is quite like a spaceship, and uh, the Shanghai Planetarium, run by the Shanghai Science and Technology Museum, is located in East China's Shanghai. The planetarium comprises a main building, a solar tower, a used observation base, and a public observatory. So, from the observatory space, enthusiasts will be able to look through and as astronomical telescope to observe the solar system. So as we have mentioned, the location of this world's largest planetarium is in Pudong. Moreover, it belongs to Lingang area, so with Tesla Gigafactory, Dishui Lake nearby. So as the audience can see, the Shanghai Planetarium will be the world's largest with the total area of over 38,000 square meters when it officially opens in 18th of the July to 2021. The planetarium has been designed to include a main building and facilities such as an exploration center for use and two observation for the public. Its exhibition area will will be total 12,500 square meters, and the planetarium has massed some 70 meteorites, including those from the Moon. Mars, Vesta, as well as over 120 collections of artifacts, including original works from Isaac Newton and other masters. So now let's get inside the first hall of home. So what can we see in the first first part? First, uh, the, the home uh, exhibition part is in the first uh, part of our three main exhibition area and we, we call our, our, our we call the earth our home mm -hmm. and we we can want to uh, want to call uh, the, the, the solar like system a, yeah. solar system and, uh, and then the, 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 the milky way galaxy mm -hmm. is also as our our home so in this uh, area we want to uh, tell something about uh, the moon, the earth, and the sun, and also the solar system, and then we'll say something about the, the Milky Way galaxies. In, in the, this part, we can see the stargazing and the homeland. Yes, in, the, in this first part, we, we want to uh, establish an environment that is dotted with many, many stars. Well, we can, we can just like uh, walk in the space, and we can see many many stars. So uh, and we can see the main idea behind the design of the planetarium is influenced by astronomical principles like orb orbital orbital motion. The building has three principal forms: the oculars, inverted dome, and a sphere, which work together to track the sun, moon, and the stars. So now what we can see is a huge earth. Yes, mm. and this is a very big the it's ball. Divided we, into the two parts. Yes, yeah, so we, we want to use uh, some projector to, to, to take it as a, a very huge earth. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so in the dark it, part, it, we can see some cities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Many, many, uh, many nights in the, in, 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 in the, in the night, night, in the night. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in this, Inside in this, this mm -hmm. uh, great ball, there was a, a, a traditional um, optical planetarium. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they can uh, project as very, uh, very accurate uh, uh, steady, steady, mm -hmm. steady skies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so on the wall, we can see some interesting questions like, are we at the center of the universe? Is there any water on Mars? <laughs> and are there volcanoes that erupt ice? So these are the very interesting questions. Now here you can see the huge, uh, huge moon. And so we can always see the same sign of the moon. Like this yeah, part. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, 
and we can see the craters and also see when the um, comet strikes the moon and we can see the formation mechanism of the craters and this is a very interesting moon model the model of the moon on display here has a diameter of the 5.5 meters and we've stored a giant 20 meter diameter earth standing nearby so from this moon we can see this is where we live on the earth yes. on the, on, on the earth and, and this is the moon and of course this is the sun yeah. yes. but mu much smaller <laughs> <laughs> this is the solar system <laughs> uh, we can see the solar system here is dominated by the sun in the majestic epic that recorded the elapse of the time, a dramatic symphony composed of storm and other wonderful notes. For you just uh, uh, join our program, this is Xinhua Life. This is Ding Ting from Xinhua News Agency. So now we are have our Xinhua Life in the newly built Shanghai Astronomy Museum. And this is also the world's largest planetarium in terms of floor area. And this place is going to be open to the public in a couple of days. So today we get a precious chance to get into the facility and have a quick look. And this is also the very first day, not only for the medium guys, but also for the uh, people to get inside. So during the summer vacation, since it's since it's during the summer vacation, so we can see many parents take their kids to the museum here. So we can see different, 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 with, with the, the, with the same well, size the apple. Mm -hmm. Same apple, but it, it's in a different planet mm -hmm. because uh, their mass is different. So mm -hmm. we, we, we can, we can feel the different gravity, yes. Maybe you can see. It's uh, in Jupiter, it's mm. very heavy, mm. and it's in uh, Mercury, uh, it's very light. Mm. Uh, Just uh, due to the different, different gravity. Yeah, different com compare it. Yeah, let's move on. So in this part, we can see many kinds of the meteorites from different parts. So uh, here we can see some from the Antarctic and some are from the desert meteorites. So some are made of the iron and some of them are just like the stone. So this one may be the, this one may be the biggest one, make biggest meteorites and it's mainly made of the iron. about we can see from the tag it's about 135.7 kilogram kilogram so can you tell us where do all the meteorites on earth come from <laughs> so we can see the numerous numerous like meteorites scattered in outer space ranging in size from space dust to almost 10 meter wide rocks so this is maybe we can see the meteorites comes from mm -hmm. we can see here the, the whole meteorite family of the we can see the 
by family. You can see there are three catalogs of the meteorites. One is called the stony meteorites. The stony meteorites are composed of many of silicate materials. And they are also the most abundant meteorites, accounting for about more than 95% of the total. And the other, we, other uh, categories of the meteorites we call iron meteorites. And it consists mainly of the metal, iron, and the nickel, and uh, some other uh, elements. And, and we can see some of them are still empty. They are waiting yes, for their owners. We, we haven't collected them, but we, we will collect this sample in the future. And we want to, uh, to, to, uh, to fulfill yes. the whole family. Yes, yes the meteorite family tree looks mm. quite cool. Uh, yes. Yeah. We can still see many part of the meteorites. And these these two interesting meteorites. This one is from the, the moon, mm -hmm. and this this meteorite is from the Mars. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can get a closer look. So I'm asking our cameraman to have a closer look at this. So this is a meteorite from the moon. Yes, found we found it in the Morocco. North, yeah, Northwest Africa. The surface of the meteorite looks quite smooth. Ah, yeah. It's like a ball. It also looks very really like the moon itself. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what about this one? This one is uh, from the, the, the Mars. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it also witnessed by, by the ice mm -hmm. and from the sky. Mm -hmm. So we found it also in Monaco. Mm. And you can see this uh, is a very important uh, meteorite because... Yeah, this meteorite has story. <laughs> yeah. I know, this has story. Because it's found in Shanghai. Yeah, yeah it's, it's quite fun. near, <laughs> quite close. The only one mm. we can witness the, the meteorite falling in Shanghai. The falling time is 1964. In this place, visitors can explore the sky with advanced international planetarium projection in the area seemed home. The universe exhibition area will analyze the law of the universe cooperating with five perspectives, time and space, light, gravity, elements and life, and the history of the human's exploration of the universe will also illustrated in an area named Journey. So for, for this is the very first day uh, for the Shanghai Astronomy Museum to open to the public and it's still only open to the media guys mm. and then maybe on the 17th or the 18th it will formally open to the public. Mm, yes. I'm sure there will be a lot of people <laughs> come to come oh, here yes. during the summer vacations. Yes, welcome mm. to, to, to Shanghai Astronomy Museum. Okay. Yeah. okay, that's the end of our Xinhua Live today. Thank you. Goodbye.